This is a demonstration on how to grade essay questions in the quiz area. I'll go over to the quizzes page and locate the quiz that I need to grade. Click on the drop down arrow next to the quiz name and click grade. There are two ways to grade essay questions. You can go into each student's attempt, for example, the first student and click on attempt one. And then you would need to find the essay question. You'd have to scroll down and if this is a lengthy test there's some scrolling that needs to happen. You would read the response, enter a score, scroll all the way back up. See it's currently five out of seven. I have to hit, hit recalculate. There's my extra point. Scroll back down and save it. That's one way to do it, but as you can see, especially if you have a lengthy test, it's a lot of up and down scrolling. I'm going to close this without saving and show you another way to do this. So instead of going into each student's attempt, at the top of the page you've got tabs. I'm going to go over to the questions tab and I'm going to grade individual responses and now it says which question do you want to grade? Well I want to grade the one that's the long answer type so I would click this question and it's going to allow me to view multiple students on one page. In this class there's only five students so it's, it's kind of defaulting to five but if you had more students you could see more on one page. And then it's going to bring up the student's name and their response and I can grade it. second student, enter a grade. Third one, and then what you can do is just save this, go back to your questions, and then if you had another long answer question you could follow those that same procedure. But now when I go back, and look at these scores, you should see the updated scores there. So it's a lot quicker to go to the questions tab and, and correct the same question for all students and just go right through rather than grading individually. Now the other option you have for you for grading questions is to choose blind marking. So if you choose blind marking and now you go into the long answer question, now you can see it just says attempt one, attempt two, attempt three. This takes the student names off of the questions so you're not seeing which student answered and then you can go in here in an unbiased way and, and grade these papers or these, these questions.